Welcome back. There is a new gastroenterology group that's going to be uh, opening very soon at Erlanger Medical Center. There are three new gastroenterologists. They're going to, uh, Dr. Louis Lambiasi. No, no. Lambiasi. Lambiasi. Thank you. I knew I'd mess it up some way. He is the chief of gastroenterology at Academic Gastroenterology. Gastroenterology is stomach problems, indigestion, stomach, colon, liver, pancreas, esophagus, organs of digestion. That sort of thing. Uh, are there any new medications for some of these things? There are there are a lot of new medications. Uh, uh, there have been a bunch of new breakthroughs in uh, inflammatory bowel disease, which is an autoimmune disorder of the intestines. Mm -hmm. There are now IV and and uh, shots that you can get that put that into remission most of the time. There's new medicines in hepatitis, and particularly that's that's exciting. Uh, Ten years ago, hepatitis C. Uh, there was nothing we could do about it, and now we're curing more than half of the hepatitis C that's well, out that, there. That's good news. Yeah, it's very good news. You, you think that trend will continue? Well, of course, with, with the continuing new medications and everything else that you got. What about over-the-counter stuff? Should a person try some of that if they have, you know, the, what you call a heartburn, and how long should they let it go on before they consult well, a physician? I, I think that if uh, if you have a serious heartburn where you have difficulty swallowing or if you if you if you feel food sticking in your esophagus or something like that you ought to go right away and get checked out by the doctor I think if you have occasional indigestion over-the-counter medicine is fine I, I wouldn't let it go more than a week or two uh, and if you've had un untreated heartburn uh, for more than a, for more than several months you need to go to the doctor because there's a precancerous condition called Barrett's esophagus that we have to check for that uh, a prolonged un Treated reflux uh, uh, it can um, can cause. So that's what it's reflux, yeah, and, and untreated right. will continue to get. Where and that can end up a uh, very serious cancer. I've, I've right? Heard yeah, you can, you can turn into cancer in a small yeah. number of cases. So if you have heartburn or indigestion for a long time or more than several weeks, you ought to go get it checked out. Is this an issue t that seems to be? Maybe more and more people are diagnosed each year because I'm thinking of the stress we go through and the uh, out of work, this, that, and the other in the sure. economy, and everything goes back to bothering your stomach somewhere. Sure. So stress, uh, bad diet habits, yeah. uh, uh, cigarette smoking, um, all of these things contribute to, uh, to uh, hurting your stomach, and you can have these kind of things. Are people getting the message, do you feel, as far as uh, maybe exercise uh, and trying to eat better, you know, to, to, because yeah. I know that can cut down something. You and I yeah, both yeah, use I mean, that I, medicine. I'm not really, the best, not really the best poster <laughs> child for that, but yeah, I don't, I, I think so. I think stress and, 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 and people sometimes forget. I know I'm a, I'm a, a, a prime example. They, they take care of other people. They take care of everybody yeah, else in their yeah. life, and they don't take care of themselves, and I think that's something we, we probably all ought to sit and look at and, and take care of ourselves. What is it about becoming a gastroenterology uh, uh, enterologist? You know, wh why do you like that field? What, well, what about it? I mean, I think there are a couple. I, I think that it it combines the diagnosis of medicine. So you know, people come with a complaint, and you talk to them, and and it's the just in a way, it's like being a family doctor. And then there are procedures that go along with it as well. And so with our scopes and our technology, we can sometimes help people right away. For instance, if you had difficulty swallowing and mm -hmm. you had an esophagus. Stricture, I could open it up with a balloon in the esophagus, and you could go from not being able to swallow to being able to swallow okay. in that afternoon. So you get the instant gratification uh, too that uh, of helping people. So I think both of those things yeah. are very attractive. Yeah. Also, I guess there continues to be improvement on the little camera thing you can uh, you can yeah. use nowadays too. Yeah, I mean, for example, uh, there are capsules now that you can swallow, and they beam pictures out to something that looks <laughs> like an old Walkman, and we can look at it on the computer and see if. Uh, if you have any problems in your small intestine wow. or uh, at, at Erlanger we're going to get uh, endoscopic ultrasound where we can have an ultrasound transducer that actually goes into the intestines and we can see uh, through the walls of the intestine to the neighboring organs and and either deliver therapy or do uh, biopsies or that sort of thing. It's very useful. That's going to open up a new avenue as well. Yeah. Well that is good and and by the way we'll tell you that uh, uh, that the, uh, I'll get right in a minute, Academic Gastroenterology will be opening uh, after 4th of July. They're located in the Medical Mall there at 979 East 3rd Street on the Erlanger campus, Suite C825. And if you'd like more information, you can see the phone number there on our screen, 423-778-LINK, uh, which is 5465. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Pleasure. Come back to see us. Appreciate We're going to take a quick break. Oh, no, wait a minute. First, Mr. Food, he's in the kitchen. We need a snack. A healthy snack, that is.